Good day and welcome to another weekly episode of Monday Redzene with Pretoria Psychologist. My name is Mpombewe and I am a counselling psychologist here at Pretoria Psychologist. With this month, we will be focusing on the theme taking stock and I will be zooming into an aspect of taking stock which I have themed a toolkit. So with this episode, I will not just be taking you through some psychoeducation but also looking into tips and tricks that you can use within this theme. So, in taking stock, where shall we begin? I propose that we begin with a journey. In life, we all experience different chapters, different um, journeys, different destinations that we experience. And with these experiences, we ourselves evolve and grow. With this growth, it is also important that we maintain our, or we maintain, we maintain and keep track of our journey. In keeping track of this journey, it is important to look into going into a new chapter with knowledge from a previous chapter or with an understanding of what you would like to gain in this coming chapter. With that said, let's look at the analogy or a metaphor of taking a trip. So with taking a trip, before you go on any trip, you first have to start with planning. And the planning includes looking at possibly what you'd like to do when you get to your destination, what you need to pack or what you need to take along with you on this journey. And with taking a trip, it's also about considering would you like to go directly there? Are you taking a scenic route? Take all of that into consideration as you plan your trip. So when you go into the actual trip itself, you would have thought of or considered different aspects along this trip. Different aspects like, I would like to stop along this route or I would take this route. But in, that, in taking that into consideration, you also, take, you also look into what this route might hold for you. So for example, I'm talking about things that would involve how you would be growing, how you would gain insight, what lessons you are learning from this new chapter or from this um, sidetrack that you are taking along your journey. Things that I definitely like to recommend or like to explore is looking at journals, these are these tips and tricks that I will be sharing with you are things that you can do and incorporate into your day-to-day -day life as you go as you go into all of your journeys or all of your new phases. Okay? So, for example, a journal. Some people don't like the standard or the boring type of journal that would include just writing. So some people explore visual journals and this could be a photo journal, this could be a drawing journal. Some people also prefer, prefer auditory journals and these auditory journals could be recordings of yourself. These auditory journals could be songs, a playlist that you compile for yourself that allows you to explore your feelings, your thoughts and your patterns of behavior within specific chapters on, in your life. Another technique that, or another tool that you could take along with you on this journey is including something like a scrapbook. You're going on or planning this, this, this new adventure or this new chapter in your life. Scrapbooking into, helps you to look at what you would like to achieve in this new chapter. So you're not just basing it on things that you have already experienced, but you're also including things that you would like to achieve. A similar type of tool could also be a vision board. Now a vision board doesn't have to also be your standard vision board where you just paste um, pictures of what you would like to achieve in that year, but a vision board could also be something that we experience on social media, like a timeline. So creating a timeline of your life and the peaks and valleys that you would have experienced in your own life. Peaks and valleys being some of the challenges that you've experienced, some of the highs that you experience. And as you look through this timeline, you're reflecting on what you have experienced, what you have come out of that chapter with, and also what you would like to gain in the following chapter, or what you would like to develop in your following chapter. 
Another technique or another tool that I could also recommend for taking stock in your life would be a exercise that I like to call my cup runneth over. Some of you might be familiar with this and with this tool you're basically taking a standard cup, any cup that you use in your home or you could even use a recyclable cup like a styrofoam cup, it doesn't really matter. But with this cup, what you're doing on a daily basis, you need to start filling that cup. So you're writing and reflecting on qualities about yourself or aspects in your life that you either appreciate, that you like, that you're in love with. It could be physical qualities, it could be emotional qualities, and it could just be experiences in your life that you truly appreciate and would like to take with you on your day-to-day -day journey. So with this cup, you go ahead and you write down on a daily basis and once your cup is full and not just full to the brim but overflowing that is when you access your cup on the days that you find difficulty on the days where you need your motivation you take a little bit out of your cup to refill your current cup that you are experiencing so those are some of the tips and tricks that I would like to share with you and just a little bit on taking stock in your life. I hope that this segment has brought you some insight and has brought you some practical um, tools that you can use on your journey in taking stock. Thank you very much for engaging with this episode of Monday Redzeni and we'll see you again next week. Bye.